Hi guys, Herman from Platinum Racing Products and we are here at the PRI 2023 Showcase Stand and I'm going to show you through a bunch of new products and cool stuff that we've brought. The Greedy PRP collaboration engine. We're working obviously with Greedy Performance to deliver PRP and Greedy together. So you can buy the Greedy turbo kits. We've got the Artec intake manifold through Greedy, Dartone Racing drive-by-wire set up on this. Uh, we've done some special Greedy blue cam covers with the raised logos, uh, trigger kits and everything that we collab with Greddy. So and basically you get PRP quality exclusive to Greddy with Greddy logos on them as a collaboration, but this is just the beginning. There's so much more to come, so much in the pipeline. So we're really keen and excited to showcase this amazing brand and be working with them. You obviously already know about our four-wheel drive integrated dry sump system. For those that haven't seen it, where have you been looking? Because it's everywhere. Billet diff, obviously you can put all of your aftermarket internals in there. Five-stage scavenge internally, dry sump pan, the daily engineering, five-stage pump with oil separator, which is absolutely crucial. Refer to some other videos on that stuff. But what's new at PRI this time is we've got our mechanical fuel pump attachment. We have coupled up with Kinsler, obviously, to make some new and exciting products which I'll talk about in a sec but what we've aimed to do here is run all of the accessories oil pump and fuel pump off the same belt in an RV and any engine you don't want to lose oil pressure and still have fuel you don't want to have fuel without oil if you lose them both at the same time for whatever reason you lose a belt whatever bang you're safe. These pulleys are all new PRP products, obviously. They have a taper lock and a belt guide all in one to make them really easy. That's a new industry sort of wicked standard that we've developed. Kinsler has worked with us now on making a new fuel pump because we kept hassling them. Please make us a bigger pump. Please make us... They're like, you don't need a bigger pump. No one ever needs a bigger pump. How much fuel do you need? We're like 24 gallons. They're like, you're mad. Really? Yes. They said, okay, you're our biggest dealer. We will make you a 24 gallon Tough Pump 2000. Thank you very much, Kinsler. What a lovely bunch of guys. Those guys are really cool. That all happens now. It's an attachment. If you already have the billet four wheel drive sump, the provisions are already there for the mechanical fuel pump stuff. It fits underneath the air conditioning. The turbo oil drain still fits. It's a plug in and a value add. And we just got around to making it before PRI. Apologies for the delay, but there you have it, guys. Barra Barra, the Australian iconic engine, the last Australian manufactured engine ever until we came along and started casting heads. What can I tell you about the Barra? The cam cover that we weren't all that proud of was a little boxy and it's a bit of a boxy engine. So we thought, you know what? Let's revolutionize the cam cover. And I had this thought F18 twin engine type humps would look cool because you've got to break up that exactly that Barra squareness. So we've given it the two flutes that make it look cool and they sort of transition into the cam cover section but to make this a little easier to manufacture because there's two VCT solenoids that are really hard to get to we've made little covers that come off here the nose separates so we can get in behind it and machine all the bits and pieces and then we did a little valley cover that makes it look really cool other than that we've got our integrated main cap girdle here on display we've got a anodized Garrett this is Scott Birdsell's engine going into his new build we're going to work on a billet dry sump pan because we're working with Mal Everingham on the the Barra race platform for boats, but the best engine platform that Australia's got to offer, we're Australian, we like Australian made stuff, so we thought, you know what, we're gonna give it one big push to try and get these things into America, because we know the Americans are gonna love these things and race them everywhere. What's 
the diff, 8.8. You've already seen this, obviously we've got it running in a whole heap of fast cars. We just got around to finishing the hat. This one doesn't have the mounts yet, but a couple of weeks we'll have it all done. We just needed to check it all worked and fitted. So that's our billet diff hat for our billet 8.8 inch diff. Yes, we are working on a plug-in version for an R200, but for now, we're just busy and this does the job with a bit of fab work. So just go and buy yourself an 8.8 inch diff. The parts for these things are really cheap in America. We don't need to supply them. You can go and buy an LSD center and all the pinion and crown wheel and all that stuff for like $1,000 US. Go and plug it all in, work it out yourself. Ratios coming out the Wazoo, easy platform, easy upgrade. And now it's cheap enough. So happy with this project. PRP engine to make you green with envy. This thing has got everything PRP. Instead of having our fin covers, these are our smooth ones. But this is all about cool new stuff with partners. So Artec, that's their cold air intake. Let's talk about this intake manifold. It's single throttle body as opposed to the carbon ones that you've probably seen around. And this is purpose built for the RB GTR setup to make that hole in the chassis rail work really easy off the bottom of the throttle. It's a low-lying plenum that fits with your brake and clutch master cylinders and all that. You don't need deletes. It's just a nice plug-in and not only is it equal runner length, which everyone's pretty happy about on the intake side, makes more of a difference than on the exhaust side. This is the single throttle drive-by or conventional throttle flap tuned intake, which is rare for an intake. The plenum body is the right size and it feeds each cylinder identically, which is rare. We've got our IGN 35A coils, which is our industry standard now. Awesome results across all platforms. We've got our new Kinsler 5,000 horsepower fuel pump, tough pump 2000. That's an awesome bit of gear. We've got our electric water pump, which is about to release. Final testing's just been finished. Obviously everything else in green and everything you already know. Uh, we've got our PRP fuel rail, all the bits and pieces. So we just wanted to tie it together, make it green, make it look a little different. And there you have it. This is our just about finished 4G, 4G63, Evo 4 to 9. This was our chosen platform to really refine after the RB26, because let's face it, we made too many parts for them. The 4G, massive hole in the market. So what we wanted to work on, obviously, was our cam cover, because it's really pretty. It's a nice cam cover, it's quad baffled, it's got separate layers for baffling internally. You would have seen one of our videos. This time we've modified it again and turned the MyVec and non-MyVec into the same part. So now we have a MyVec delete plug, but basically all of the features that you get with breathers on MyVex, you now get on a non-MyVec. You can bung it, you can use it, plumb it from the rear, plumb it from the side, whatever you want. So the front plate obviously marked for both and you can pick and choose swap heads and you don't have to go buy a new cam cover. So that's a really cool thing. We've done the cam sensor relocations and mechanical fuel pump kit for both MyVec and non-MyVec. And you could run two mechanical fuel pump kits on it if you want, but that was all to complement the new trigger system. So we have both a 12 tooth and a 36 tooth trigger system, which deletes the OEM balance, uh, uh, balance shaft belt and all the pulleys. Pull that cam out or block it, however you want to do it. And now you run one of these trigger systems with a Hall effect and you can have complete ECU control with a lot more feedback, off-throttle, on-throttle, the cruisers, the off-boost, the on-boost, everything happens faster. We know it's going to work really well because we did it with the RBs and going from 12 to 36 minus two, changed the game completely. No one's ever done it. So 4Gs, welcome to the 36 tooth trigger. Please try it and learn the benefits. It's amazing. Other than that, I want to talk about the Big Daddy exhaust manifold. This is a non-reverse rotation. It's a standard rotation. It'll cop up to a G45 type size turbo. 7275 precision on this one here, but it shows you that you can fit everything in to an Evo engine bay, which has never happened before. Usually you're sticking turbos out through the headlight. So it all fits, obviously, with Artec. There's a carbon 
uh, intake manifolds. It's only a matter of time before these things start running sevens, and we're working with a couple of race teams to ensure that they get there. Other than that, with billet blocks, which obviously uh, what you need to do to go and run a seven, but for everyone else, we've got our billet integrated main cap race that everyone's been waiting for for years. Uh, it's on this engine now. We're about to release it. It's going to be the go-to main cap race, just like all the other integrated main cap races that we've made, steering completely away from modular single main cap races that float and defeat the purpose. Also having a hard main cap, completely defeating the engineering principles of changing your main cap setup. So Evo World, we've brought it up to PRP spec.